Now, since we have on click event of image and we have this uh, handle remove, let's really remove the image. But uh, once again, how we determine that which image we have clicked? So, to solve that problem, what we can do actually, we can give this as an anonymous function and then I can pass the index from here. Since we are passing the index here, I can accept the index here also. And now if I log these index, index, and let's try. So when I click on second one, it's giving one, the index is one, first one, index is zero, and other index also. Now we have the index, when, then this means we can easily filter the images. So once again, I will say images, dot filter and this will get image and the index so this is a filter filter is just like a map but unlike map this is not going to return the new array this is going to return the filtered array if you are using map it will return whatever you define in the return part but in filter it's very important to define only boolean things so here i'm saying uh, let's move these in a parenthesis and call it i only so that i can differentiate the index of this filter and the given index now i'm saying that if i is not equal to the index now you can see i'm giving the boolean here and this boolean is going to determine that which element you need to have or which to remove so as the filter says if this is returning true then it is on the new array but if this is returning false that index or that uh, uh, element of this uh, images uh, array will not be in the filtered part let's now see so i'm going to click on the second one and to check that the second one has an id with 962 at the last so let's click on the uh, second one and now you can see we don't have an id of 960 962 at the last because that is actually removed and we have a new array and the new array is holding only four images although we had five that means one is removed since we have this filter and this is giving a new array we can set the images so set images is going to give this filter like this okay once again let's try and i'm trying to remove the last one and yes it is working what about the second one it is working and in that way we can remove all the images there is one more way to filter out the things that is with the spread operator so once again i'm going to log and i'm going to show you how a spread operator works so a spread operator is used with these three dots and then you define the array or the object whatever you have since images is an array we have defined array of images image url so when you spread it it will remove you can consider it as a removed this brackets okay so it is spreading it is opening the array and then we can uh, use this parenthesis to create a new array not parenthesis the angle brackets so now if i click here you can see still we are having five and this is a new array created by this spread operator if you are not getting this let me explain you with a proper example think about a book so book comes with a front cover and a back cover and lots of pages inside it what if i want to spread the book you just need to throw out the front cover and the back cover so i am throwing out the front and back cover so i just got all the pages now we have all the pages and if you want to create book from that pages what you need to do you need to add your own front and back covers so think about these brackets as a covers and the element of the array as the pages of any uh, 
pages of that book actually now the point here is since we have the book and we have removed the front and the back cover we have the pages and now we can play with the pages like we can add new pages we can remove new pages because we are going to create our own book with that pages so this means if i can say like i want to spread but i want i want to spread from slice of 0 to index or 0 to 1 only that means it is starts from zero index and goes till the index of one let's try this and click on this and we just have one image and that is actually because it is not including the second parameter that means it is going till the first one but not including the first index so if i give two here this should give us two starting from zero and give me two result so now click on anyone you can see now I'm getting starting from zero and I'm getting the two image so this is how we are uh, you can consider once again as a book example and we are reducing the page of the book and then creating our own new book by using a front and a back cover so as I said this is not including the index I have defined here so what if I give index as a index we are getting so if I am clicking on the third one I should get first and the second only only two result so I'm clicking on the third one you can see I'm getting the two result but if I'm clicking on the let's say on the fifth one so I'm getting only four result so in that way we are getting the result before the index okay and to get the elements after the index i can again say spread images and dot slice and slicing from index to index plus one that means uh, start from index actually this is from index plus one actually and i'm not giving any uh, other things and then I can say index, uh, not index, images dot length. Let's try this. So I should get the result uh, apart from that one way which I am clicking. Let's see. So we are getting four result, and uh, to confirm that we have removed something, I am going to use the set images instead of this log. Now let's try. I am clicking on the third one and you can see the third one is removed what about the second one is removed now the third one the new third one that's cool and you can see in that way also we can remove so it's up to you whatever you want to use either filter or the spread operator the spread operator is descriptive but images is easy okay so that's how you can remove the images with a click but next I want to have actually a button that button will going to uh, when when I click on the button I should remove the image not on the click of the real image 